today I'm riding a Trek Top Fuel 9.8 SL. I broke into my friend Lindsay's garage and stole her bike and I'm gonna ride the shit out of it. So first little climb here, I'm gonna lock the suspension. Wow, that feels really good. I remembered to unlock it. So this top fuel is equipped with Shimano XTR. And the Kovi XXX rims, they are super light, super fast. They have a great sound to them. good in the corners. It's probably because it's so light. Time to see what she's made of. Woo! Got a little crazy. Little jump. So good in and out of the turns. Go, 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 go. My chain came off. PR, PR. My chain came off. Get out of the fucking way. Strava. <laughs> that really wasn't a PR. I just like to bitch at him for no reason. about this bike is just that it just goes like where I point it it goes there's no hesitation I just finished up my ride on the Trek Top Fuel 9.8 SL, and this bike is super quick. It's very light, especially with this build. Um, it's Shimano XTR, very light wheels from Bontrager. It's just very nimble. So when I'm when I'm riding downhill or even around corners, especially, the bike just wants to take off. If I want to slow it down, it's it wants to go. So it feels very, very quick. It's, like I said, especially in the corners. I think a lot of this is because of the lightness of the bike. So I was kind of able to have a little bit of fun with that and kind of jump and play and some stuff like that. You know, normally you think about doing that with longer travel bikes, but I was able to do it on this bike and it was still a lot of fun. One of my favorite parts about this bike is actually the remote lockout of the front and rear suspension at the same time. I really like that on the climbs. It made it super stiff. Um, and for you know those for those climbs it really helped out I really really like that feature and I really want that on my bike the sizing charts usually say that I should ride a small however this is a medium it's the 17.5 and I would definitely not ride a small the 17.5 it felt smaller than what my Niner Jet 9 RDO is and maybe a bike that's a little bit smaller like this bike would suit me better because I can move it around a little bit easier that's going to be it for today's video I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea about my test ride on the top fuel here. 
Um, it's definitely a great bike to check out. If you have the chance to ride one and you're thinking about buying one, um, if you're an XC racer, I mean, it has everything that you need for XC. So definitely consider it. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you next time.